Hey, people, Duncan here. I want to talk about the LeBron James and Laura Ingalls controversy. Um, but first, please like my videos, comment in the box below, hit that bell for notifications, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright, so let's talk about this LeBron James controversy. We all know that LeBron don't like President Trump. Now, why? Who knows why? I, I can't figure out why a guy that's got hundreds of millions of dollars who's going to be making more money because of President Trump and his tax policies, a guy who's going to spend that money on various charities, various homes, cars, businesses, things like that, all in all, President Trump has given LeBron James more money. And essentially what LeBron has done is condemned him for it. He's complained that President Trump is bad for the country. Even though President Trump is piling up all the tax incentives, he's putting people to work. You can't argue with President Trump's... Um, economic plans so despite the fact that LeBron is attempting this here comes Laura Ingalls a conservative right wing Republic, Republican rep reporter she comes in she bashes LeBron for his opinion his stance and she finishes by saying that he should just shut up and dribble well you kind of overstepped your limit there. Okay, this is America, and everybody's entitled to their opinion, no matter how messed up it is. It's our jobs as conservatives to tear that opinion apart, to bring reason. And telling a person to shut up and just go dribble, that's not helping the cause. That's sounding very egotistical. It's ve sounding very rude, to be honest. You can't get anything... You will not get anything accomplished by essentially telling somebody to shut up and go away. So, in that regard, I'm telling Laura Ingalls that she should probably just n not comment on that part that far. Okay, you can you can bash his opinion, you can tear it apart, but you don't need to tell the guy to shut up. Okay, um, and LeBron, first and foremost, the world does not circulate around you. Um, I know you want to think it does. I know you've made a ton of money. I know that a lot of young people are looking up to you, but I'd love to know what you would do with the economic situation in this country because unless you don't want to make more money unless you don't want to pay less taxes which would allow you to help more children to help more kids with your college programs it would allow you to build more businesses to contribute more to the capitalism that you seem not to like despite all of this factor you're bashing the president who is in fact giving us this and my question is why I'm not gonna tell you to shut up I'm gonna ask you to come forward and come front and explain what it is that he's that President Trump is doing that's so bad for this country okay it's not bad to put people to work it's not bad to give people tax incentives that they've never had to put more money in people's pockets it's not bad to bring law and order back to your country it's not bad to secure your borders after all a country with no borders is no country at all it's not bad to tell people who are here illegally that it's time to quit using the system abusing Americans and it's time to go home there's nothing wrong with telling these sanctuary city 
mayors, governors, and so on, that they need to represent the American people over the illegals that they're giving votes to. Okay? There's nothing wrong with what President Trump is doing. He's not doing anything that any other president would not or has not done or should not have done. You want to talk to travel ban list? He took a country off of the same list of countries that Obama had. You want to talk about being racist? Obama brought the BLM into the White House, the Black Lives Matters, who hate white people and want to kill cops. I don't see Trump. Trump didn't bring the KKK into the White House. Trump didn't thank the leaders of the KKK for their acts, the things that they've done for society. You see, the difference is President Trump was endorsed by a racist group because President Trump said there's no shame in being white and that we, as white individuals, don't need to take a back seat. And that by calling somebody out on their, um, on their, let's just say, uh, unequal opportunities, okay, by calling people out on their, the real social injustice sh issues, which is affirmative action, another, another name for racism of its own, when a person that's qualified will not get a job because a company has to become, um, minority friendly, this is a form of racism. But we don't want to talk about that racism. We want to manufacture it, and then we have people in the sports entertainment world, in the Hollywood world, we have people in the media, we have people all over who spin it around to make it look like President Trump is somehow racist because he wants a safe America where Americans aren't getting killed by illegals. He wants an America where Americans have the rights to protect themselves. In fact, where Americans have their rights, period. Yet, somehow, he gets attacked, and somehow he's supposed to be bad for the country? So, my word to LeBron is, look around, wake up, at his, look at his checkbook, see what President Trump has done for him, his organizations, his charities, his businesses. See how many more cars and homes that LeBron can buy now because of President Trump. And then, at the end of the year, at the end of the four years, I would love to hear LeBron James tell me how much money he's made com with President Trump in office compared to how much he made with Obama. I'd love to know the economic difference between the two. And that's what I'm going to say. I won't tell him to shut up. I'll tell him to speak more. Speak real. Speak um, in detail. Give me reasons. And not just point fingers and say BS. Give me reasons why he, President Trump bothers you. Give me reasons why you believe he's bad for the country. And allow people like myself to break those reasons down. That's called um, dialect. Back and forth. That's what the country needs. Dialect. That's what I have to say. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share to all your social media sites. Comment in the box below. Hit that bell for notifications. And subscribe to the channel, guys. Peace. Duncan out.